And alas, the time has come. It's time for me to find a girlfriend. But not just any old girlfriend. Oh no. I have my eyes set on one female, and one female only. And that is Ariane. They said not to set my standards too high, and not to set them too low. But ladies and gentlemen, I have set my standards way above the bar. It's gonna be an adventure. And it's gonna be a sim ama amaze. Uh -huh. Let's do this. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Date Ariane. So yes guys, this is a visual novel by Ariane Barnett. So damn man, this might be the actual creator herself. Maybe this is like a CGI representation of her. So okay, we gotta date this person either way guys. I've seen a few people play this and there's multiple endings. I didn't watch too much because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. And I also know there is some nudity in this. But don't worry guys, you the viewer will not see anything that is considered inappropriate because I'm a master of editing. You see some text on this finger some text on this finger and now they're following it You see so I'm gonna remove all the little bits that are really gonna be inappropriate I think it's best we get into this one and don't really say too much more before innuendos begin emerging So let's start this game. So here we go You've been set up on a blind date with a girl named Ariane. This is her house. She's expecting you Okay, I'm gonna read this all in a lower voice as well. I want to read these stories correctly So here she is Ariane. Hello, pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Ariane and my name is Ryan So pleased to meet you come on in Gladly, okay, so we've gone in. So we have four options, so we can compliment Mrs. Ariane, say something smart, say something funny, or give her a hug. Okay, so, I mean, let's let's play like how I would, man. If I was in this situation, which is probably how it should work anyway, I'd probably say something funny and fail. Pencils could be made with erasers at both ends, but what would be the point? <laughs> Oh me, I'm so funny. What does she think? You have a great sense of humor. Say something nice about me. Wow, Ariane, your voice changed in pitch very fast. Okay, so kissing isn't really saying something nice, is it? Okay, let's establish an even ground here. I'm not one of those guys that's just, you know, I've been in the house about a minute and I'm already trying to make a move. Let's read her a poem. So here we go. Is that a book of poems on the table next to you? Yes, it is. Pick one out and read it to me. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? In Zandu did Kuba can. There's something about a martini. There once was a man from that took it. He probably rhymed with something it. <laughs> I'm gonna read this. <laughs> there once was a man named Nantucket. <laughs> no, don't read that. He said with a grin as he wiped off his chin. <laughs> She's just sat there like, what the f*** is wrong with you? <laughs> Ariane, it's not me! I'm forced to say this, okay? 1001 poems and you go with Dirty Limerick. Good choice. Hey, man, so this girl likes a bit of strange poetic <laughs> justification. Just trying to set the proper mood. You probably don't do it like that. You are quite the gentleman. So, what should we do tonight? Oh, I wonder, I wonder. You are my guest, I will let you decide. Oh my goodness, she is pretty open to this. Okay, what options do we have? We can turn on some music, we can kiss her, run fingers through her hair, play rock, paper, scissors, read some poetry, or go to another room. Yeah, I want to go to another room. I really want to check out your dining table. It looks amazing. Let's go to the kitchen, go to the backyard, back to the couch for a walk, bedroom, turn on some music, or let's go out to dinner. I want to look around the house to begin with for this one. So, uh, hmm. I bet you have a lovely backyard. I bet you cut your grass to seven millimeters exactly. I could show you the backyard. Brilliant. This is excellent. Oh, she's got a swimming pool. Where's the grass, though? We could have a barbecue steak dinner, check out the telescope, get into the hot tub, change into a swimsuit, or go back inside. I kind of fancy a dip, man, so let's get changed. Swimming sounds fun. I have a bikini you will love. Wait, here while I change. We can follow her into the bedroom and we can wait in the hallway. Let's be a gentleman, we're gonna wait. Oh, okay, Mrs. Ariane. Okay, that's a pretty nice bikini, I gotta say. Thanks, let's go outside. Ariane, why does your voice keep changing in pitch so much? Oh, damn, that's a pretty sweet dive. Just don't belly flop because that friggin' hurts if it's slapped. So she's gone for a dive. Oh, oh my goodness, what is going on in the water? That's like some kind of demonic twisting thing. Either way, we can swim some more or try to untie her bikini top. Wow, let's let's do some swimming. I kind of want to do some laps, man. This is nice, but swimming makes me hungry. Challenge her to a race. Let's swim some more. Let's get out of the pool. Or you want a skinny dip? Okay, we're in the pool already, guys. So <laughs> let's do it. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, gosh, no. Skinny dipping? I am not getting naked in front of you. Time for you to leave. On a scale of one to ten, you get a one. The end. Right, okay. Right, show me the door and I will leave. First date with Ariane. That was awful. We pretty much failed that one, and now I feel emotional because I thought I was onto something there. Too soon? Too soon. Okay, so let's start again. We're gonna start fresh for this one. Let's be a different kind of guy. Let's be the huggy kind of guy. So let's go in for a hug. Mmm, I love that deodorant. Uh -huh. 
Wait, did you just fart? Okay, so that was good. Nice hug. I can tell you're the physical type. Oh, yeah. I might just be. Should we prove that again? We're going for a kiss. <laughs> She's like squinting away now or something. Jeez. That's a creepy kiss face, I've got to say. You give her a quick peck on the lips. Wow, I've known her like five seconds and this is going pretty far. What was that for? I couldn't help myself. You are so kissably cute. Well, if we are going to bed together, we need to start somewhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spicy, man. I just wanted to test if our saliva was compatible. Yeah, you never should say that. Like, seriously, 101, the rule book. Open the page. Yeah, it says right here, never say that because it will land you nowhere. Why are you reading this? That was all that was to say. Okay, okay, so never say that. I wanted to break the tension. Ah, uh, that's quite a good one, I suppose. Let's go with that one. What do you mean by break the tension? Well, at the end of the evening, you're just gonna return here, right? Oh, and then there's gonna be all that tension. We've never kissed before, and I'll never know when to make the right move or something. Look at that smile on her face now. So we'll kiss now and get it over with, and then we'll go eat. We'll digest our food better. I get it, yes, very clever. I saw Annie Hall too, by the way. Who's that? You are quite the gentleman. <laughs> yes, I am. So what should we do tonight, Mrs. Ariane? You are my guest. I will let you decide. Okay, so it's the same scenario again. What should we do? We've already kissed Mrs. Ariane, so we don't need to do that again. Turn on some music. Let's turn on some music. Okay, I see a portable stereo. What do you say? A little dancing? Okay, let's see how this goes. What should we dance to? We've got a rock list, a light jazz playlist, pick a romantic list, or a country list. Well, it's probably not wise to start moshing, is it? So I say we go for some light jazz. Ooh. <laughs> Feel the rhythm going through your body, guys. Here we go. I love jazz. I think it's romantic. Oh, yes, of course it is. We can kiss her while dancing, dip and kiss her neck, change the music, go back to the couch, or go somewhere else. Well, I don't really want to change the music considering she says she likes it, and we actually picked it first, so I think we kind of spoil our chances. So what do we want to do? Let's dip and kiss her on the neck. Where's that hand going? Oh, hands in new places. Be careful. There's ants down there and spiders and evil things that I've never seen before. Okay, so we return back here again. So we've done this once. We probably don't want to do that again, but we've done it once. So we've actually acquainted ourselves with that area of the body. Probably won't go there for a while, but uh, soon to be scary if you know what I mean. So whilst this jazz music is playing and we've already done that, we can now go in for the kiss. You give her a kiss while dancing slow. How romantic. You know how to set a romantic mood. Go somewhere else. Okay, I wonder where we could go. We could go for a ride, eh? Or we could go into the bedroom and check out the bed sheets because if they're not made of linen, I'm not interested. I want to go to the bedroom, man. I want to see what's going on. You want to go to the bedroom? Sorry, but the bedroom is off limits. The end. Better to be thought a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. You seem pretty smart. Okay, she's like... Really intense smile. <laughs> now let's read her a poem. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's at least hath all too short a date. Pretty poem. That's Shakespeare, right? Oh, of course it's Shakespeare. Yes, it is. You are quite the gentleman. This is going much before. That jazz is still on in the background, man. Are we like the third person in the same house coming to a house? We could run fingers through hair. That would probably be quite nice to do, wouldn't it? You touch her neck and run your fingers through her hair. <sighs> That felt good. That's nice to know. We're getting somewhere this time. Okay, we've got a different camera angle now, so what should we do? We could play rock, paper, scissors, man. Everyone loves a game of rock, paper, scissors, so here we go. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. When it decides what we do next. So let's go rock. She did scissors, so we destroyed rock. Let's get some wine. Wine is deciduous. You got nothing to drink? Oh, an exception has occurred. Uh, game, okay. Uh, oh, uh, oh, boy. Let's ignore it and let's continue. This is my kitchen. Play to eat and drink here. Wow, it looks very uh, orange, Ariane. Yes, beautiful color scheme. What the hell is this girl thinking? Let's get some wine to drink, my friend. You got anything to drink? Okay, why can't I want my wine? Okay, there we go. Ariane grabs some wine and pours you both a glass to drink. Oh, <laughs> absolutely delicious. We could... Let's go back to the couch and let's chill for a little bit. Let's drink some more wine. Let's drink some more wine. Okay, too much alcohol. Not good, yeah? We've drank a lot of alcohol. Okay, so she's going into the bathroom. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> this is way too awkward. Some gentleman you turned out to be. The end. <laughs> oh what the heck? Boy, you're really picking. Oh my god. This girl is a nightmare. Do I really want to date this? Let's go for one more time. This is a disaster. Jeez. Hmm. 
Let's try it, man. And okay. I think what I need to do really is play this how an actual date should go. Like kind of flow it nicely rather than just choosing the silly options because uh, it was pretty funny some of those endings, but I really want to try and date Ariane correctly next time. So yes, guys, hopefully, of course, you did enjoy this video. It was pretty fun to actually play this one. It's quite funny as well. So if you did, guys, be sure to drop me that like button. And also let me know if you want to see another part on this. And hey, if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. And of course, guys, more amazing indie games. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.